Welcome back. In this demonstration, we are going to do a little problem solving. In the previous videos, I created this five piece hanging part for my Stabile sculpture, and on each section it balanced out just the way I wanted to. But what if you're starting your balance process and it doesn't go the way you want it to? You get it done and it doesn't balance out. This video will hopefully solve some of your problems. So let's get started by pretending that this bar here is my third bar, this one there. Okay, let's pretend that I'm starting to balance it. I've got my uh, piece glued in here on the left hand side, I've got my loop on the right hand, and I need to start bending the loop that will be here, creating the fulcrum for my bar. All right, Mr. George said to attach it nicely to the jump ring and then to balance it out. So we go to balance it out and we find the balance point. Okay, right there. Beautiful. Now we take the marker just like we were supposed to and we mark the space that Mr. George said we should by putting a little mark on the fulcrum. Now, going back to our work area, we start bending and doing the best job we can to bend it right on that mark. All right, but let's pretend that uh, I'm not paying attention or I'm trying the best I might and I can't get it to bend perfectly right on that mark. So let's pretend I'm starting, starting my bend thinking, okay, Mr. Lundgren started over to the right hand side of that and then somehow he kept twisting and twisting and magically it got to the right place. All right, now, Let's pretend I feel like that's pretty good. Now I go back, Mr. George said, make this a nice curve from here to there. And you're really paying attention, trying to get it just perfect. And you think, all right, there we go. I'm ready to have my Stabile sculpture balanced. I hook it back in here. I get my little hanging tool to hang it up and uh-oh, it won't hang. But I was, I was pretty sure that was right. Uh-oh, it's not working, all right? The first thing to do is decide if you've got this fulcrum too far to the heavy side or too far to the light side. On this example, it's too far to the heavy side because this part, the left part, the heavier, the lighter part is falling down. Okay, the heavy part is, is just not 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 in the right place it should be hanging about like that so we're gonna have to move this fulcrum back over to the light side of it all right so what you'll have to do is you'll have to undo this piece and rather than start with a new piece of wire which is expensive because if everyone starts making mistakes and I'm cutting a ton of new pieces of wire for everyone uh, we will run out of wire very quickly what you'll do is you'll take this piece and you'll just start to untwist it Now, once you get done untwisting it, it might be a little wiggly and janky here. So what you'll do is I've got a big pliers like this in class, and you can take this metal and kind of bend it back and forth, and maybe I can help you if, I've, if I'm not in the middle of helping somebody else with a different situation. Um, you can take this piece and just kind of bend it until you get it to be the way that you want. You might have to use two pliers, or you know, ha have somebody help you out to get it bent fairly nicely. So there we go, that bend isn't, isn't perfect, but it's close enough. Now you'll have to go back and see where you made your mistake. If I measure this out and I look at it, oh yeah, okay, my bend was here. Way too close, the fulcrum was way too close to this side. I really want it farther back here. So again, I take my marker, I mark it, and basically just start the process over. Okay, Unbending it and trying to get it fairly even is, is one of the keys. And then also uh, really being accurate and careful once finding that balance point. Now, as we start again, I wanna just twist in the sense that I make sure that part is really at the top. Here it is right at the top. Now, I can do one of two things, I can hold this top piece 
you know, the part that I really want at the top, I can hold with the pliers. And this will take a little bit of a little bit of skill in one sense. I can hold that with the pliers still, and then I can bend the other piece around it. Like so. And that for sure now is right in the right place because I've taken this and held right onto the middle and made sure I wrapped this wire around that middle piece. Now if I take this and bend it to have a nice curve, that should be alright. Now I've got this kind of twisted and cockeyed, so what you can do is you can hold this one flat and then twist this back piece with your fingers. Might might require you to re-glue your cardboard piece on and like twist that around to get it right, uh, which is totally fine if one needs to do that, no harm in doing it. Okay, you just have to work it out and get it to be as flat as you can. All right, now let's check to see if that's balanced. And there we go. Okay, it's not maybe perfect. It's bumping a little bit there. I might have to readjust it yet again and put it even farther over. But that's pretty good. And that's the process that you'll have to go through to change it. So now if, if I still was like, oh, that's really not how I want it, I can undo it again and change this fulcrum over just a bit. But let's say I don't want to do all of that and I want to just try to adjust something a little bit on the inside here. I can take this and roll it a bit that way to move the fulcrum and then hold this piece still after rolling that fulcrum over, holding this piece still so that the curve, the actual fulcrum piece doesn't twist. If I hold that still, then I can bend this part back down and readjust that arm. So now I've actually moved that fulcrum over farther to the left without having to completely untwist that fulcrum. Okay, now let's check it. Oops. All right, and now that is the right way. It's not bumping into my other pieces. It's high up enough, and there we go. So that's a way you can adjust the fulcrum ever so slightly. You can't like, you know, completely readjust the whole thing that way. But if you're just a hair off and it's just bumping a little teeny bit, that's one way you can readjust the fulcrum. And once you've got that fulcrum correct, then you can readjust this metal piece to have the proper bend that you would like to have it. Okay, so the two options are number one, undoing the whole thing and retwisting it again, or number two, rolling this uh, twist here over to the left or over to the right to adjust it ever so slightly, and then just bending the arm back out. Okay, so that concludes our little problem solving video for what if your bar isn't completely balanced the first time.